Now for the first secret. No perfectly straight long edges. Let's see one example. Okay, here we have two rulers. One is perfectly straight, this ruler. Another with some defects. And this defect is on these long edges. I put it on the short edges just for you to see that the line will look a bit weird. So you always target the long edges. To do this systematically, the first method is uh, to notch some vertices. You just do some small movement on the vertices which is on the long edges. Okay, let's go to the example. On this model, you can see it is a little bit notch here and here. This long, these two long edges. On Let's try to do it on this model. This second ruler, okay, we just notch it a bit, and then we select a few more edges, we notch it in a bit, few more by random, just move it a bit, a little bit. Okay, now, that edge will feel imperfect, just a tiny bit of movement, not even one millimeter. Okay, let's move on to the next method. Is method two we we use randomized vertices. On this model, you can see that this one is already randomized on the long edges. On the short edges, is perfect. On this, we will do the randomized vertices on this mo this one edge, so that you can see that imperfection can be systematically added to the your model. Okay, let's do it here. This mesh is already selected. Okay, for this part. We randomize it. Okay, you can see the mesh is already jaggy with. But we want it to go along the normal. This is very big. So we lower the amount to 0 0.01 maybe. Then we can see there's some tiny movement of the vertices. And now when we render, the edge will feel imperfect. Tiny, tiny bit of it. Okay. That is the second method. So that was the demo. Okay, the third method is notch and scale. Notch and scale is more forgiving. Uh, let's directly go to the third demo using the same mesh. Okay, we do it on this side. Okay, here, this method is you just select random, just move it, don't worry about the scale right now, just move it, then we select all that edges, we scale it to Y, which is the, uh, the direction of the edge, the tangent direction of the edge, then we scale it slowly down, that we can see some jigginess like this we still can scale it down uh, some more like this and then we render we get that feel here that imperfection feel on this side of the edge so this is we have I've shown you systematically three methods to nudge the edges and uh, let's recap uh, the first is notch some vertices just move it a little bit uh, the second method is uh, randomize the vertices using the randomized tools and then the third method is uh, notch and scale it means you move big movement then you scale it down and then the notes is use only the vertices available on the mesh and only do it on the long edges. We do not add more edge loops. This is what we have to avoid. So we do not add subsurface modifier to get more edges. Put enough edges on it. Then we select which, uh, which edge we want to manipulate to give it the tiny bit of imperfection. Okay, that's it for the first secret. See you on the second one.